hello guys i hope that you all are fine okay today i will show you how to draw interaction diagram of a column uh, about about any axis about x and y axis whatever you call it okay about the centroidal axis and we shall take the results of e tabs uh, with the manual calculation results okay so let's start that we see that this is a column of 20 inch by 12 inch dimension and four bars are used each bar is number each bar is number nine okay <coughs> so let's do that at first open the model in a new model okay go to define and section properties from section add new property section designer okay now go to section designer and draw rectangle click on it now right click on your mouse button ah, this window will be popped up and give the dimension height is 20 inch and width is 12 inch hmm. width is 12 inch and height is 20 inch metal strength is 4 psi 4000 psi okay reinforce yes ever data diver number three okay corner bar okay I'll click on it number nine number nine I click apply to all corners okay I'll click on it uh, bar size with none none apply to all edges now we have uh, drawn the section successfully you see that this is the mx okay we shall determine the interaction diagram about the three axis or x axis okay now click on it interaction surface exclude file okay we shall determine we shall check the nominal value of moment and uh, axial load now click right click on your mouse copy current curve now go to <coughs> open your excel control v e okay e centricity is given by dividing 12 inch time uh, moment divided by the axial load P okay huh. 
uh, okay you see that uh, when the eccentricity is 10.67 inch and the moment is 314 kfit and the constant axial load is 353 kfit now let us compare it with the manual calculation you see the balanced at the balanced failure region at the balanced failure uh, when this intensity balanced recent balanced eccentricity is 10.66 inch and pb equals to 357 and here we, we have got 353 in it has to use the exact results okay since uh, the concrete the river area is included in this calculation uh, we, we didn't deduct the area of river from the concrete okay that's why it is uh, somewhat greater than the actual value but the difference is insignificant okay when the e equal, e equals to 20.83 okay you see the moment is uh, Two hundred twenty-two. Okay, and the axial capacity is hundred, near hundred. Now let us check it. See here. Three point one two. 2.94 okay 2.94 753 184 m3 keep fit now let us compare it with the manual calculation mm. 3.12 you see this is nearly equal okay so we can conclude that uh, ETAPS give a reasonable value and that calculation is uh, according to the original formula that is provided in Nielsen or Nielsen reference book design of concrete structure written by Darwin and the design of concrete structure by Nadi Mohsen. Okay. So following this uh, by using ETAPS you can easily calculate you can easily calculate uh, the capacity of a column. Okay. Uh, within a few seconds which is very time saving and very easy to do so I hope that you have understood the use of interaction surface uh, the use of in section designer in ETAPS thank you for watching if you have any query relating to this you can uh, comment you can let me know by commenting in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please like share assalamu alaikum warahmatullah